Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our latest virtual assembly. It's good to be with you as always. I'm going to share my screen with you now uh, in the usual way. And on the screen, you'll see on the slide uh, a couple of pictures and a question. And um, the pictures, uh, the top one shows you the first time um, that man was able to take off in one of the early aeroplanes. The second photo at the bottom shows you when uh, we were able to land a man on the surface of the moon for the first time. And the question is how many years separate these two photographs? How many years separate these two momentous events from the first initial takeoff in the earliest type of airplane to being able to travel into space and to land on the surface of our moon? Well, the answer is just 60 years. Just 60 years separated our first attempt, the Wright brothers, to get off the ground in an aeroplane and being able to go all the way to the moon in a space shuttle. Think of the amount of change that took place in those mere 60 years. How much technology changed from being able to have an aeroplane that could just about sustain itself in the air to being able to land on the surface of the moon. And yet that development all took place within a really short period of time in human history in the 20th century. Amazing, rapid change, amazing development and incredible speed. Today's assembly is based on that concept of change. And I want to talk to you about change here in school, but also how we as individuals adapt to and adjust to change as well. Sometimes change can be really dramatic, like this change. Sometimes change can actually go be going back to something that's already happened before. And in all cases, when there is change, there is a chance, a chance to do things differently, a chance to be a different person. Every day, there's a fresh chance for us to make a fresh change. And as we've seen with the taking off in an airplane to the land on the moon, change can happen quite rapidly once you put your mind to it. I've also been struck this week uh, by this picture because change isn't about something new at all. Sometimes change is about going back to something that already existed. And I wonder how many of you have got uh, similar electric scooters to this one that you can see in the photo. This electric scooter though, isn't one of the more recent ones that so many uh, people are using today. But this is actually from 1916. Lady Norman traveling on her motor scooter during World War One in London. And people would have looked at that at the time and thought that looks incredibly different, um, but it wasn't very popular and very few people used them. And then they gave way as aeroplanes came into formation, as cars and trains developed, these scooters went by the wayside. More recently, of course, these scooters have become incredibly popular. It highlights that sometimes change involves something old becoming new again. As a school community, we have been through lots of change this year. Some of it has been enforced upon us by COVID. Some of it has been because of the amount of new staff members that started back in September. We, of course, had new year 12 and year seven cohorts of students changing our school as well. But it's also been because of some of the changes that we have made deliberately because of our desire to improve King Henry School and to make it a school that everyone feels part of and proud of, a school that you can call your own. And I've shared this image with you before about some of those changes to the curriculum where we're bringing in engineering at GCSE, where we are bringing in outdoor education in Key Stage 3, where we've introduced things like the LGB Q plus hub on a Tuesday and Friday lunchtime, where we've introduced our house system, where we've signed our deal with Chelsea Football Club to run our football academy. All of these 
are rapid changes that we are making because we want to improve things within our school. And you'll even see around you at the moment as the link begins to go undergo its transformation. You can see the undercoat of blue paint being painted around the link this week. And hopefully by next week, it will start to look like that transformation below. Something that has been, as it is in the top photo there, for decades the link has looked like that, will suddenly look transformed really quickly. It will change within a week, having been the same for decades, because we decided we wanted to make that change. When you consider your role within our school, your attitude in lessons, the respect that you show to other people, how you listen, how you show courage and politeness, our core values at the school. I wonder whether you need to make any changes as well. Making a change means having some courage. Deciding that you want to change for the better requires commitment. And I wonder if you decided that you wanted to change, what you would do practically to realise that change rapidly once you've made that decision. We also want to go further in terms of the changes that we're making to King Henry School. So we've started what we're calling the big conversation. After the second lockdown, we've wanted to reconnect with all of our students to get you back into the habit of getting up in the mornings, getting your uniform on, getting into school and just being around other people after months of lockdown. After the May half term, though, we want to move on to the second step of our recovery from COVID, and we're calling that re-establishing. What routines and expectations are we going to re-establish in our school to make it a better school for you all? And then finally, from September, we're going to look to restore, hopefully restoring things like trips and visits, hopefully restoring things like clubs and extracurricular, and hopefully restoring any lost learning that has taken place in the last year. But we don't just want to announce lots of changes. We want students to have your say as well. And so before we decide what further changes to make, there is a survey that I have sent this morning to all students on your King Henry School email accounts. So if you go into your King Henry email accounts, you will find the link that is on the screen um, at the moment. And if you click on that link, you'll be able to respond to a survey with a number of questions. And these questions are really practical questions about things like whether you can continue to wear your PE kit on the days that you have PE after May half term, about the timings of the school day, about whether we're going to have a physical sports day this year and many more practical things that will affect your enjoyment and life day to day at school. So we've gone out to our parents and your, yeah, our, our families um, to give us feedback. We've gone out to our staff in a separate survey as well. And this is your survey. This is your chance as our students throughout the school, our extraordinary students, to have your say and to shape the next set of decisions that we're going to make as we seek to continue this rapid change at King Henry School. So have your say. Join in and be part of the change. This survey will remain open until Friday. So as you watch this, hopefully on Tuesday, you've got plenty of days left this week to open that link, to respond to the survey and to be part of the change coming up at King Henry School. Folks, I'm going to let you reflect on that concept of change. And I hope that you have your say on the survey and I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.